Hello and welcome to Gunbot. In today's video, I will be showing you how to set up a VPN so that you can remotely run Gunbot. The first thing you want to do is go to consboo.com and click on VPS. From there, you will be clicking on the four core CPU, 12 RAM version. And then when you go down to the options, you'll click on the Windows version. So, you know, here you can see all the different support it has, but mostly you just want to click on the Windows Server 2016 Data Center 64-bit. Uh, none of these options are really necessary to click on and click Order Now. So here you just fill in your data, which I, of course, will not be showing you guys just to be safe. So just fill in your data, pay either the PayPal, Bank Transfer, Western Union, or Skrill Money Book. I personally use PayPal just because it was a little bit easier for me. Uh, once you've done that and received your confirmation email, you can go to my.contaboo.com and log in with the provided username and password. So the next thing you want to do is go to Windows on the bottom icon, type in Remote Desktop Connection, enter. From here you will provide the IP address they provided you and hit connect. You will use the login information provided to you, ensuring you do not use the VNC credentials that they have given to you as they will not work. So the server manager dashboard will be the first thing that pops up. So the next step you're going to want to take is go to Windows Update and install every available update. Uh, once you've done this, the VPS will go down for a few minutes as it installs all these updates. This is not any error, there is no actual issue occurring, it is just your system updating all of these cumulative updates. After all these updates are installed, you are going to want to restart your VPS. So once the updates are done installing and you restart your VPS, go ahead and download Chrome through Internet Explorer. Uh, it should take a few moments just to simply get all the files downloaded look something like this so once the download is complete go ahead and install it and then go to the github for gunbot make sure not to get from anywhere else as it's probably a virus or some malware so since this is a windows machine that we have vpn into make sure you click on win.zip so you will see the download progress, and once it's downloaded, make sure you drag the file to somewhere where you can easily access it, such as the desktop, which is my preference. So once it's on the desktop and it's been extracted, go and open it, click on gunthi.gui, which will open a little bit slower than usual. Eventually, within a couple of seconds, you will see the prompt stating that everything is running. And then you want to go back to Chrome, open a new tab, and go to localhost colon 5000 and begin to set up your gunbot. So first, you want to create a password, start without import, select the exchange. For this example, I will be using Binance, and then enter the key for your API access. Uh, make sure not to ever disclose a secret key for your API access as someone can do a lot of horrible things with that information to you. So here I'm also adding my Telegram bot just so I can get notifications about trades and also clicking on best currencies to enable it for Gunbot to suggest actual trading pairs. So from here you want to go to setups, click new setup, select the exchange you're trying to use, and make sure you have uppercase for the coins you want to trade. Ensure that you have your primary currency as Bitcoin, Binance, or whatever coin you like to use. 
Also here I am adding an override to ensure that trades go through because on smaller coins sometimes there is a minimum order necessary on Binance and other exchanges. So here I'm putting trading limit 2, meaning two Binance coins will be the currency I'm using. So next you want to go to control panel and make sure you internet sync your clock as well. So go to category, said go to large icons, and then go to date and time within the control panel. So click on that, go to internet time, change settings, pick a time server, hit update now. Make sure it's successfully synchronized and hit OK. So once we've done that, go ahead and hit run gunbot and you will see the live chart start as well as the configurations of the strategies that you've inserted. So from then on, essentially you can just close the remote window and it'll be running in the background for as long as you need it to run.